another month, another disappointment. Oops, I misspoke. We don't do self-deprecating talk here. Let's throw all the negativity out. Shit, is this a cycle? And start over again. Another month, another set of opportunities. And it's August again. So we have this new planner now. <laughs> so this planner is from a Clever Fox planner, if you're curious. Not sponsored. And I would like to start planning for this new year and the coming months. Hmm. So as you can see, let me show you. There's a section where you can create your vision board. Here you can see mine. I really want to work and travel in the future. So that will be one of the goals I want to achieve and work out more consistently have a nice beautiful office uh, in a high rise with an apartment with all window walls mm, wonderful a dream a penthouse would be really nice actually and i would like to have a very a nice collection of um, gold jewelry 14k it's like just the basics but that i can wear all day, every day, small, dainty. That's I want to build my collection of jewelry. Be on film sets. Here I'm coming. It's not me, but let's say imagination. You know, manifestation that it is me <laughs> coming out of this trailer on a movie set. Mm. And you can see this is the entrance to one of the sets. These are the scripts that I'm being offered or maybe I wrote them, you know, maybe some of them I wrote. And I want to be a businesswoman, work out with Caroline. Literally, she has my dream body, those abs, those arms. Really, that is the goal. Look like badass woman. And be on stage more, read more. And here it says, um, you know, my goal, a uh, financial goal is to have 200,000 <laughs> savings, which is definitely shooting for the stars. So when it comes to finances and money, I feel like it's okay to dream big. It's okay to shoot for the stars because what will you lose? You know, you, what will you lose? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so... Because let's say you do have a goal, a realistic goal of 10,000. That's realistic for me. Let's say I, my goal is 10,000. And within the year, I feel like I will just make 10,000 or do below it. However, if I decide my goal is 100,000, I feel like I'm going to make more than the realistic goal of 10,000. I'll do more than 10,000 because I'm trying to reach for that 100,000, you know? So I feel like shooting for the stars is win-win either way. So these are the top goals for the whole year. They will probably change throughout the year, but for now, this is what we got. For health and fitness, be 55 to 58 kilograms. I actually don't believe in scales and weighing. These 55 to 58 kg is actually more an image in my mind of how I want my body to look. So this image in my mind looks like 55 to 58, but she might not weigh she might weigh 62 or 65 who knows realistically but if this image in my mind she weighs 55 to 58 it doesn't have to be accurate numbers it's just 
it's just very helpful helpful for me to actually um, visualize it the goal is to finish all of caroline's program she makes her programs are usually 10 weeks long and five days a week you work out with her <laughs> not with her like you work out with her youtube channel she's so good this is her this is my dream body Mm, I just can't get enough every time I watch her videos while we are working out It's so motivating. I just feel so motivated and So good, please. I recommend her so much. Please go watch her, please She is a goddess anyway. And also I would love to go back into taekwondo and actually practice that martial arts and be a bit you know, just practice, get back into it. <laughs> it's just a good defense skill to have as a woman, I would say. I remember when I was younger, when I was very good in Taekwondo, I felt so safe going outside, walking outside, and having the legs, the feet be the, f the reflex of defending myself, it actually creates a bigger distance than having my arms be a habit of defense business and career goals for the whole year so i am a creator a theater maker basically so devising and the script writing and etc and that's i kind of want to have that skill translated into my youtube channel as well i want to create content and film video format because I'm very interested in you know, film sets, TV, movies so I kind of want to experience that process from script writing to storyboarding to editing, producing, sound mixing, just lights, talent <laughs> and actually publishing it of course like film sets tv sets are a bit more complicated and huge scale a lot of people stressful long hours so but you know the process is kind of similar no potato potato <laughs> also i want to create more pieces for theater and direct write act on stage hopefully this year yeah family and friends it's very difficult to make friends in vancouver but that is going to be my biggest goal this year to cultivate and build a very strong support group of like-minded women relationships and romance I'm in a very great healthy relationship with my boyfriend and I just hope that keeps going for this year there's nothing huge um, nothing I don't really have a big goal for the relationship just very happy where we are right now Finance 100k by the end of next August Shoot for the stars It's okay, delusional is fine Being delusional is okay And I also want to like research about investing And how that like I, I really should get on that Like investing I really don't Personal development Mind your own business and don't expect things from people you don't do yourself Is a my motto this year Because <laughs> I feel like I expect a lot from people and then I look at myself in the mirror and be like Do you do them? Do you? So I gotta work on myself first and then be nagging to other people so a big lesson um doable for sure doable yep 
and I need to get a driver license soon. I'm already at an age where I should be having my own license, but it's okay. Better late than never. Fun and recreation. Yeah, the same thing, meet new people, make friends, <laughs> and have vacations. I really want to go to my home country, Turkey, this year. Hopefully, we're planning it to be mm, April, which is my my birthday month. So, hopefully, hopefully that is the biggest goal. I want to go see my parents. It's been too long because of the pandemic. I want to see my grandma. That's we are gonna make it happen. We are going to make it happen. The spiritual goal. Well, I guess meditate. Meditation just makes me feel good. So, meditate. That's all I have there. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I will have more to write throughout the year. That this is just like what we have right now. And then I have a three month goal. So this planner makes quarterly goal planning. And for my three month goals, we don't have to go through all of this, but just over here at the end of October, basically, I want to have 12 YouTube videos published. So for a month, basically, once every week. And I wanna, hopefully hopefully i'll get a new online job just you know to make that 100k <laughs> um i gotta also kind of see what the situation is like between me and my agent um yeah just gotta have some meetings and see where we are at with our relationship if this is moving forward at all or not and if not, then I'll have to find another talent agent. So stressful, but it's worth it. It's okay. Um, take license classes, like drive driving classes, driving classes. At least by October, like in October, I should have a few classes in. My that's my goal. I want to pitch a play that I'm currently writing to a theater company and see how it can be produced. And I want to bring some of my culture in there. I'm Turkish Japanese, so I want to have that blend of culture on stage somehow. Um, I will let you know how it goes. It's just still in the process of uh, creating the, the play and the pitch. Mm, hopefully it will be in production or like we'll have some kind of conversation going with the theater company by the end of October so <laughs> um, what else and end of October so end of three months at least have 10k savings so 10,000 savings and no debt no zero debt zero so that is my goal even if i don't reach 10k i just want to have zero debt by the end of three months and reach 62 kg the last one is b62 kg again the numbers are only like helps me with my visualization of my body i just Whatever is in my mind, that body shape I have looks like 62k, but it doesn't have to be 62k. You know, it just helps. So, let's get more into the month of August. In August, I am going to Toronto for a theater tour. And my goal there is to network, attend as many theater festivals, attend as many shows, just make connections, just, you know, 
with like like-minded theater goers, makers, I want to build a network in Toronto and see what's up there, you know, what's the theater scene looking like there. So that's that. I have to update my website, my acting website. It is definitely needs some mm, revamping, revamping like the color, the <laughs> just I'll I'll hopefully I will show you guys an updated version next time and see just let me know which one you like better. Another goal for me is to in August to have some footage of me performing in different languages. So I want to have some self tapes in like Japanese and Turkish and in German so that the casting directors can have a reference to see if I can actually speak these languages fluently and if I can act in them. That is the biggest one of the biggest things I have to actually do. It's not difficult, it's just I'm just procrastinating at this point. It's been four months that I keep telling myself I'm going to do it. <sighs> I will do it. At least memorize them <laughs> this month. You know, at least memorize those scripts. It's okay. I can shoot it next month. Just memorize them. You know, attainable goals. Attainable goals. I have to start applying and submitting to roles by myself more because you know my agent only gets paid 15% and I get paid 85% so I have to do 85% of the work so so I did drop the ball on that you know applying for roles and I want to pick it up this month and just apply apply submit audition just go at it basically August wellness and fitness goals so the biggest problem I have right now with my health is acne. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really bad. The thing is, I stopped taking birth control pills a few months back and I started, I initially started taking them because of acne and I knew my acne was just going to come back the moment I stopped taking them. So uh, what I feared happened, it's just, it's, it's out of control right now so actually tomorrow I have an appointment with a naturopath so we're going to discuss and discover what is the root cause of all this is and I feel like it's like hormone imbalance and I feel like there might be some thyroid issue since I have it in the family I have I was told that I should get it checked out just in case it's very likely I have something going on as well um, so for so basically in August I would say my goal is to kind of build a plan together with the naturopath to start this journey of balancing my hormones and fixing my acne and everything else my fitness goal for August since I'll be in in Toronto for the most part of it I don't want to stress myself out with needing to work out every single day because we will be very busy just go 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 almost no breaks rehearsal show rehearsal performance so I don't want to put extra stress on my body so my goal is to just you know just move every day and if that means I'm moving during the rehearsals then that's it then that's good and if I want to do just yoga or just Pilates or just stretching that's perfectly good too I just don't want to put too much stress on myself it's gonna be a new environment it's gonna be you know my focus is mostly to build connections in August and meditate yeah, I, I definitely will need to meditate, <laughs> definitely to find the peace and quiet and calm my nervous system down during that tour in August. So that is one of my priorities, definitely. My August goals as a creator is to, as I said, I'm going to be pitching this idea to a theater company, right? 
So for August, I want to focus on just brain dumping all the ideas, all the just the topic, whatever just comes to my mind, just journal, journal, brain dump, write. And next month, I am going to just look through them and see what can I actually create out of these, what can be you know, interesting or things that will get like, create conversation among the public so that is so basically in august just brain dump and for youtube i want to be filming this whole experience of toronto theater tour how it is where we're staying who is cooking what are we eating when are we rehearsing where are we rehearsing what are we performing who are who are what like who are we seeing networking events how is it you know just i just want to film everything and share my experience with you all and on the topic of youtube i want to be consistent and i am hoping to batch create like two to three videos ahead so i actually have time and don't stress out with doing editing and trying to publish on time so that is one of my big goals this month just to be consistent and get the videos out there personal goals in august so basically Mm, I am an, I mean, if it wasn't obvious, <laughs> I am an immigrant in Canada and I am currently trying to apply for a permanent residency and hopefully in August we will just have everything submitted and all we have to do is just wait for the government's response. So hopefully in August, that is, let's just get it, just send it. That is the biggest goal, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and if if it doesn't get approved, then <laughs> I'm going back home, going back home. Yeah. The second personal goal is, as I said, be more social, make more friends. Yeah, I really want friends, guys. Like, the pandemic really ruined my social life and my finances and my mental health my emotional health basically we we were all really but that being said um i am still very privileged and grateful for being able to live have my own room have food in the fridge have a job so i am very grateful but yeah, it is tough. It is tough for everyone. Lastly, personal goal is to go out to the beach as often as I can. <laughs> I am so mad because we only have two months of summer in Vancouver. Proper summer, okay? Where the sun is shining and not raining. It's just those two months just so precious and last year i regret so much not being able to enjoy it as much as i wanted to but this year will be different so these two months are oh wait july or the end August. Wow. I'm hoping September will be hot because July was just cold. I was wearing jacket every day. It was very cold, rainy, just windy. So I'm hoping August and September will be this two month of summer we have. So yeah, my goal is to enjoy the beach and tan and get that vitamin D mm -hmm, this month, so. And for this month, my book goal is to finish this book called 
um, what is it? Woman love too much. It's a very interesting. It's very eye opening. Can be triggering sometimes. Basically, it talks about women who love too much. <laughs> I'll I'll do a book review when I'm done reading it. It's it's cool. It's really cool. And yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully August will go well and I really hope I get to take off all the goals that I listed. I will keep you guys updated if I fail or not. <laughs> so <laughs> the thing is my follow through rate is really low. So I'm just worried that I might not follow through with all the goals I listed but it's a new planner year, so... Thank you for watching!